Hello! This is Momont Elementary's Art Room Lessons for Remote Learning. This is for you, awesome, amazing pre-K kiddos. My name is Miss Manning, and I am definitely missing you guys and girls. And what we're going to do while we're not with each other, we're still going to make some art. So what you're going to need is your packet that you picked up from the school. And we are going to do week one goals and plans. Our learning goals for this art lesson is students will use their creativity and imagination to complete the drawing prompts provided. You are going to pick two of the drawing prompts to complete yourselves at home. Now, what is a drawing prompt? Well, it's the beginning of a drawing and you get to finish it. You can choose to do a self portrait. That's a picture of yourself. You can choose to do five flowers. One, two, three, four, five. You can choose to draw two animals. One, two. Or you could draw a vehicle. Now, these pictures are just prompts. That means they start it for you, but you get to use your creativity and imagination to finish it. So if you want to draw a vehicle, notice they give you two wheels to start with, and you get to choose how you finish it. If you want to draw two animals, look, they gave you a face with a little beak and another face with a little nose and a mouth, and you get to finish the other parts of the animal. Here, they gave you the start of five flowers. They gave you the stems, and they gave you the circles. Now, the circle could be the center of your flower, or it could be one of the petals of the flower. Let me show you an example using this one. Draw five flowers. You could take this flower in the middle, you can add some leaves using your lines. Maybe add an extra line for some detail. You can use this center oval as the center of your flower. And you could make a curved line. And you can repeat that curved line to go all the way around your oval. And look, those curved lines become flower petals. You could also use this circle as one of your flower petals already. You can draw a curved line here, curved line there, maybe a little curve here, and a little curve here. And look, it looks like your flower has overlapping petals. This petal is in front. This petal is behind this one. Of course, I think it's always fun to add some leaves. I'm going to use a little zigzag line. Zigzag, zigzag, zig, zag, zigzag, zigzag, zig, zag. Add some leaves. Notice I'm not doing the same kind of leaf. You can do that too, or you can make them all the same. It's totally up to you. You get to use your imagination and your creativity for this. So if you chose your five flowers, you can finish all of these. You can do whatever kind of petals you want or leaves, or you can choose to do a self portrait, draw a picture of yourself. Notice they gave you an oval shape. This is for your face. They gave you these two curved lines. You know what this is? That's right, that's your neck. So you could use this, and then you can fill in your eyes. You could draw yourself a nice nose. Your mouth, should it go here or should it go up here? Yeah, your mouth is probably down here. And don't forget all those other great details that you have. Look in the mirror if you have one. If you can see your ears, you should probably draw those. Do you have short spiky hair? Or do you have long flowing hair? Don't forget that. All right, so you get to choose 
two drawing prompts to finish for your art class today. You can choose to do a self-portrait, a picture of yourself. You can choose to draw five different flowers. You can choose two animals. Oh goodness, I wonder what those could turn into. Or you can draw a cool vehicle. Remember, pick two drawing prompts and finish them with your amazing imagination and creativity. I can't wait to see what you could create. Bye.